Before we begin to set up POS Cafe, we need to ensure that we've entered all of our products into the products area of our Shopify store. The reason for this is that POS Cafe will take our base prices and variants, such as sizes, from Shopify before we add our product modifications. Then, I need to ensure that I've entered my collections into or groups of products into the collections area of Shopify. This forms the basis of my menu in POS Cafe. Detailed instructions to enter both your products and collections can be found in the POS Cafe knowledge base. To start setting up POS Cafe, let's go to the Cafe Collection section. This is where I'm going to tell POS Cafe which products I want to be able to modify. I click Add Collections. Then I'm going to choose the collections that have my cafe products. Remember, you only need to add collections of products that require modification. So for me, my bottled drinks can be sold directly through Shopify's point of sale system and therefore don't need to be added to POS Cafe. You'll also notice the collection called POS Cafe modifiers. When we create modifiers, they become products in Shopify and are automatically added to this collection. This collection doesn't need it to be added in POS Cafe, but be sure to not delete it. Once I've chosen the right ones, I click, I click Select and then click Save. To create my modifier sets in POS Cafe, I click Modifier Sets and Create Modifier Set. Firstly, I will give it a title such as Milk. Uh, and then I can add my options such as full cream, if any of my modifiers require an extra charge, I can add that here. I also have the flexibility when creating my modifier sets to require a modifier option to be selected. So for example, if I was uh, applying this modifier set to a cappuccino, I would require my customer to select a milk. However, I don't want them to select more than one milk, so I'm going to leave that unticked. And I'm going to save. Let's create another one. This time I'm creating a modifier set for optional milk, milk that could perhaps be added to things like tea. I'm going to add my same milk options. but this time I'm not ticking require a modifier option to be selected. I'll create one more set now uh, that I'm going to call extras. And this is just things that are optional extras that can be added. Don't forget that when I create these modifier sets, they are added as products in Shopify. So just be aware of that and make sure you don't delete them from your Shopify store. Okay, so you can see I've got allow multiple options to be selected and I'm not requiring a modifier set to be selected.
If my business has more than one area where I prepare my cafe items, such as a barista and a kitchen area, I can add these in the prep areas section of POS Cafe. I can rename the default area and add additional areas. The reason we set this up is this will help with item routing, uh, both for kitchen display screens and for receipt printing. So now let's put everything together. So I'm going to go back to my cafe collections and I'm going to click on anyone. So I'm going to start with coffee. This is the way that I can now assign my modifier sets and prep areas to my item. So I'm going to start to apply modifier sets to my products. I'm going to choose products that require the same modifier sets. And I'm going to click assign modifiers. You'll notice I've added some extra modifier sets here just for us to work with. Now the order that I tick these boxes are the order that these modifier sets will appear in my Shopify point of sale system. So I'm going to start with milk. Sweetener, strength, heat, extras, and eat in and take away for those items. Okay, I can see that now they have six modifier sets applied to them. I can now choose the remaining ones. And these ones have optional milk. And that's going to auto save for me. Now all of these items are prepared in the barista prep area. Wonderful. Now I can go back and go through the same process for my other collections. The last step in our quick start guide is to manage our locations. POS Cafe draws in your point of sale locations from your Shopify settings and you are able to assign POS Cafe licenses to the locations where you'd like to use POS Cafe. As you can see, this can be done in bulk. Once I've assigned my licenses and clicked save, I can manage each individual location by clicking on the location name. On this screen, I can assign a menu to this location, which gives you the flexibility of assigning different collections to different locations as necessary. I can also reorder my collections to ensure a smooth workflow for my staff. You are also able to set your store's opening hours, a vital step if you're planning to use POS Cafe online ordering. As your customers will only be able to order during your store's opening hours, we recommend you set your closing time to be 15 to 30 minutes prior to the physical closing time. This ensure that this ensures that no customer accidentally places an order after you are able to fulfill it. Now let's get POS Cafe set up in our Shopify point of sale system. So to start with, I'm going to tap add tile, app, POS Cafe and POS Cafe tiles. And I'm going to save that. Each time I want to add a product to be modified by POS Cafe, I must click on the POS Cafe tile. Here I can see my collections and my products. And my modifier sets. Now, my customer name and notes field are optional, but they can help your workflow.
When I've entered one item, I can add an order more. And when I'm done, I can add and go to cart. My POS Cafe items appear in my cart and I can check out as normal. And that's how we set up POS Cafe.